Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get an amazing and totally free movie application to your Fire Stick or Android TV. It got loads of content and might be even better than Netflix, especially since it's totally free to use. Here I had to blur out my screen because YouTube does not allow me to show you what videos or movies are available inside that application. However, in your case, of course, it's not going to be blurry. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get that app to your device. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, we'll have to go to search on your device. Here it is, open the search bar, and there in the search, start typing Downloader. As you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom, so there was even no need to enter whole name of the app. We click on Downloader, and that's the app which we need to get to your device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. And to set up the loader, we'll need to go to settings. So let's do it. Click on that button with a gear icon, then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it. Here you'll we'll have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. To do so, we'll go to About. Select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now the button for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to Install Unknown Apps, and from here, turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, let's go to the list of apps on your device. Here it is, open it. And there is the loader application, which is set up and ready to use on your device. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, we got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Finland right now, and from the moment we connect, all our internet traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on your line. And that's really important if you wish to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but would like to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your computer or your mobile phone, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you 3 months of service totally for free. Now finally, let's use the loader safely. So we need to open the downloader application. Let's wait a bit until it loads. Then on the left side menu, make sure to click on home, that's important. After that here in the search bar, we'll have to enter a code, which is going to be two, eight, nine, zero, and seven. So once again, your code is two, eight, nine, zero, seven. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see on the screen and did not make any mistakes, because obviously if you make any mistake, the code is not going to work. After that, click on Go and wait until a website opens up for you. Then, after it opens, we need to scroll down just a bit until we find a list of categories. So here it is. From here, we have to click on Movies and TV. So click on it. Then a huge list of apps is going to open up for you. And what we are looking for is the Kuko TV application right here. You can see it on the screen. So locate it on your screen and click on the app name. Then probably some kind of ad is going to open up for you. If it does, do not click on open because that would mess everything up for you. Instead, click on close and then a new web page is going to open up as well. So here it is, we also have to scroll down. 
Keep scrolling until you see the download fire to Android TV button. That's exactly what we're looking for, so click on it. And now in a couple of moments, the download should start for us. Let's wait a bit. Yep, here it is. Usually it happens real fast, but of course it all depends on connection speed. Then we need to click on install and wait until Kuka TV is installed to the Fire Stick. After that, do not click on open yet. Instead, press on done, because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file as we really do not need it anymore on your device. So click on delete and then delete once again. After that, let's go to the list of applications on your Fire Stick. There it is, open it. Then scroll down and there is the Kuka TV which we just installed to the Fire Stick. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way Kuka TV is always going to be at the very top of your application list and it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. Once again, you can use my link below the video or just go to topvpnoffer.com in the browser to get 3 months of NordVPN for free. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.